Pavel Zaka to Pasternak, and he smacks it off back glass. Pasternak, a quick re-entry, tries to dangle Zamula. Two on one, Garnet Hathaway, and Ryan Paling on a one-timer. Philadelphia leads. Olsen. If they're going to make the postseason, they need to play like this. They create the turnover in the defensive zone. They get a quick counter with numbers. Boston thinking offense. The Flyers had really a line change in progress for themselves. But because they end up with possession of the puck, Bruins thinking Pasternak's going to make a play with it. And now you got everybody moving in the wrong direction with that puck. Deep to Geeky. Lawton. Into the Boston zone, Konechny, and two saves by Swayman. Mark throws down. Dick to Brusk. Morgan Geeky scores! What a sequence! Two saves by Swayman at the other end, and Geeky lights the lamp. Fuck. Maybe saw to break out the opposite direction. Big time save by Swayman with the left pad. And then DeBrus takes over. We talked about him in the open. The great speed. He just pulls away off the board side, left side, and just gets his feet moving, crossing over, picking up speed. He gains entry and he draws three flyers to him. Connect the at the bottom of the circle. Sizzles the pass past Frost. Ferebi on the elbow, yields to Tippett, York, a wrist shot tipped in front by Joel Ferebi. It's an even strength goal in the vulnerable minute. What essentially is a power play. Try to stay in that shooting lane, don't cheat to one side because there's a power eye in front of the net. I mean. You get all the Bruins on the outside of the shooting lane, but there's two Flyers with an opportunity to screen, tip, redirect. Marshawn to Coyle! It's time! Bruins doing a nice job in the face-off circle on this power play, and they get rewarded. This is not a clean win back, but it's a second effort win by Pavel Zaka. And it's a deflection in the direction of Brad Marshall. You watch the way the Flyers react when this puck goes towards the hash mark. They, they try to sniff out the puck. It looked like Mark Stahl was the guy who was going to get possession, so he vacates that part of the area of the, the defensive zone, which is the most dangerous, the inside hash. Both he and Konechny... Looking at that puck, looking to make a play. Connecting loses his stick. Stahl tries to lay out. Brad Marshaw with a beautiful little tuck backhand. As if he makes it. Watton chasing. Peak to Lindholm. Down into the corner to Pasternak. Coil with speed. How oh, he ropes it! The Bruins lead for the first time tonight. Charlie Coyle with his second of the game. Bruins are changing out, and if you're Flyers, it's so hard to defend. When somebody comes off the bench fresh, you feel like you're in man-to-man, -man, but nobody really knows who's going to pick up Coyle coming off the bench. Sanheim sweeps it into the Boston end. Peak to Boquist, a cutback. Peak and Beecher on the rebound! Off the post and in! Fill the lane. And Peak makes a great pass to a wide open Beecher. His first shot catches the post. Two minutes, 37 seconds, and a nearly third goal in succession by Lindholm. DeBrusk! Oh, he tucks it in! Play 
players on the back end. They got a goaltender that has not established himself as a go-to guy in the National Hockey League just yet. And sometimes you have some growing pains when you play a quality team with the Bruins that put the pressure on Philly here in the third. They get the lead, they extend the lead, they extend the lead again with some terrific offensive zone presence. Everybody getting involved. The attack is on. Couturier makes a good play. Frederick blocked by Atkinson. Couturier spoons the backhand into Lindholm's corner. And Delorier scores past Swayman. It's 5-3 with 5.48 to go. And at this point in the season, when you're looking for points, Nicholas Delorier with his first goal in 64 games. Yeah, the Bruins are in pretty good shape. They got bodies back, but it's a nice play by Couturier below the goal line, behind the Bruin net, and that's always a tough read for the goaltender. It's on the blind spot. Delorier able to slip around. Is to Couturier, slip around Lindholm, then he got a little bit of inside position. We're into the Ford F-150 final five. Frost to tip it. Down to Frost and he makes the circus move to cut the lead to one. 4.46 to go. And here come the Flyers. They get a chance. It's a good glove save by Swayman. And then you get the TV timeout. And you're hoping the TV timeout serves a good purpose for the Boston Bruins to collect yourselves, talk about things, how to finish this game off, secure the two points at that explosive start to start the third period. And no, you're digging self hole. You're making things really difficult on yourself. And this is an awesome move by Frost to finish it. Sanheim. BP pressures, York off Heinen's stick, Hathaway centers, Sanheim, a shot blocked, Heinen with Kiki, the trailer, and Heinen picks the post and scores! to finally get an opportunity to make a play with the puck. Dan Heinen taking no chances. Connect me back to Zamula off DeBrusque's stick. York around behind Swayman's goal. Kirby with the wraparound and it's 6-5. What did we go through a wormhole back to the late 80s? Austin's had leads in the third period, have a difficult time closing. The shot from the sideboards. The Bruins move into first place. One point ahead of Florida. The Panthers have a game in hand.